Hello and welcome to another stream. My name is Ray and it is Sunday. That means it's BWCL time for the last time for a few weeks because today is the last day of the BWCL season 52. Um, the regular season already ended last week and today is the relegation match. So we are in a relegation match to advance to the highest division. We are currently in division B. And if we win today's match, we are in Division A next season. So before we start here, I will show you the lineup. I show you like the standings and the clan we play against. But my opponent is already ready to start. So I don't want to use too much time for that. So very quickly, let's check this out. I already showed this last week. Um, so the regular season ended here. Um, this was week 10. The standings are like this. IRK cannot advance because they already have a team in the highest division. So AQP advances directly and the, the second next team that could advance uh, is in the relegation match against the second to last from the first division. So my team Red versus Ref A. Um, Ref A, that match is already entered here. So this is the lineup. And we are already ahead with 1-0. I know it, it shows 2-0 here, but this is one match. It just automatically adds one to the team who has more wins. And this is also a bug, so this is just sometimes not working. But my opponent is uh, Wave, Wave, Ref. And we are ahead one out of five matches so with that let's go as you can see here we are already i already talked to my opponent asked him to give me a few minutes so i can do this introduction and he's saying insane map uh, never played that lots of eggs and gases block yeah the map is a gold rush and he's saying it's auto loss Um, I no, don't know what his skill level is, but if he's saying it's auto loss versus me, he probably knows me and thinks he's a lot weaker. Or he's trolling, of course. I, I don't know. Okay, so I'm making a Ray 1 and we have Gold Rush. So the map. Um, I will host it here, but I will show you the map. Gold Rush. Um, it's this map right here. So this is a bit weird map. If we take the top position here, uh, you start, you have a pretty normal natural, but you also have this back door to the other side, which is blocked by eggs. You have, they have minerals, so you can walk workers through. Uh, and you can also kill the gases so that nobody can go through here anymore, even if you kill the eggs. So it's a bit weird. So you could take this and then kill these gases. So there's no way, no entrance from here. Yeah, so so this ring, this outside ring is pretty interesting feature of this map. And with that, I think we are ready to start. Thanks for tuning in, Spages. Let's go. Okay, stream is online, everything is going well, and the game is starting, let's go. I have the picture of the map uh, on my second monitor again, as always, because if I have to play a map that is not super popular and I played it a thousand times, then I like to keep the map on my second monitor so that I yeah, don't forget an expansion or forget to scout an expansion or so. So I'm on the left position here, or I also I need the picture to see where I have to send my probe to to do the initial scout. It's very frustrating if you try to scout and then the probe takes a weird path and ends in the no nowhere, like doesn't reach the starting position, and then you 
have such a big delay scouting and then he goes for like a two gate rush and kills you. So <laughs> I don't want that to happen so I know where to send my scout probe if I have the picture of the map open. Mm, you can also s uh, manually scout along that outside ring of this map, uh, but you have to manually move your uh, probes through the mineral or through the X with the mineral walk. So that's possible. And yeah, I will do just that. So here I will go this way and go through the minerals here and then scout further. I'm playing it super safe here, getting a second gateway and also delaying my gas here a bit because I really don't want to die. Okay, so he's sadly not here. Uh, and now my probe's already in the middle. Definitely not the optimal scouting path <laughs> that I take here. Okay, he's coming, he's coming. Oh damn it, he's really attacking. Damn, he gets another one. He's not hiding zealots here. Warriors 
Oh wow, he's a lot of gates already. Wait, did he did he go for a hidden expansion or something like that? It's a bit weird to me. Just now takes this expansion, okay?
Okay, I need more gateways. Okay, I have a problem. Playing a very bad game here. I can't believe how these goons are moving. Oh my god, the units are moving such in such weird ways. You can't control the units here. It's it's incredible. I move them from here to here and they they r run around super weirdly.
This is one crazy game. Why are my units not attacking? It's so weird today. Yeah. I don't know. It's... I don't know. Everything went wrong. I even have more resources. It's so weird. Yeah. But I will just play two normal maps and it will be fine. Uh, just nothing worked. All the units were running in such a weird way all the time. Started with uh, the scouting probe was already uh, not good. Anyways, uh, we go into the next game. That was a really bad game, but it's fine. Uh, hi, Veer. Yes, I will not spoiler any results. That's fine, yeah. Okay, game is going. Shakura's Temple, PvP, now I'll play a normal standard game here. And on this map I think the units don't move in weird ways. I saw that he selected blue as a color and the map is blue, so he probably did that intentionally to make sure that... or to maybe uh, yes, I, I think he did that to uh, so that I cannot see the units that well on the minimap. Maybe. Or he just likes the color blue, who knows. But that's why I changed the color to green red now. Okay, I, I to be honest, man, it, it didn't feel like he was a very good player. And if I just play normal and play very safe I think I should be fine the problem was that I just didn't get out of my base early on and let him build cannons because half of my army then half of my army was at the bottom but I couldn't really go through it was so weird this shouldn't happen in this map Also, the first zealot got like two kills. That should not happen either.
Like? He has a lot of villains. Like Oh my god What's happening? I got two for 
What the hell is he doing? What is this? This guy, holy shit. Wow, he's super aggressive. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> These games against him are so weird. Oh Jesus. Capture the flag. I don't see it. Wave. Wave one. No. 
Wave, wave. I don't see the game. Not here. Well, I don't know, it feels so weird to play against him. I feel like I have nothing under control, like everything is a complete surprise to me. It's it's super weird. It feels like I can't play to my full potential because everything just feels weird. He's very aggressive, very unit heavy. To a point where he even uses his workers to attack me. <laughs> like all in with all workers. Like that's the maximum aggressiveness that you can do. Crazy. Crazy this guy. I'm going to get again. He's too aggressive for me. Also getting an anti-mana pylon here. Wait, where, where are his units? Something's weird again. Something is weird. Yeah, see? That's what I thought.
What happened? This is not a normal game. What can I say, guys?
Fuck! I can't believe this. It's the weirdest games I've ever seen. Oh, and he also had so many minerals. Did he have a hidden expansion? I really can't believe every single game was so weird. I, uh, my hands are cold. I, I don't know. It's it's so weird. I I have no idea what what happens there. It's like I play the game for the first time. I I had no idea what was going on, and it felt felt like, look, I have like seven hundred minerals at some point. Look, look, th this is not how I usually play. Look at this. It's like 600 minerals. Look at this. 700 minerals almost. Ah, it was just a te Templar drop. I, sh I, I placed a pile on here even. Man, man, man. Yeah, this is the problem. I was actually fine in this moment. It was just a high templar, a dark templar drop. Oh wow! Oh wow! I can't believe this. Everything was so weird. I was so scared that he will make cannons in front of my base when I saw that pylon. So that's why I added like four gateways and made sure I have enough units. But then my tech was too late. I don't know it. It was so weird. I, I cannot believe this best of three. Crazy. <sighs> I mean, in the last game, in the second game, he actually attacked me with all his workers. So in that game, he had no further tech, he had no expansion, nothing. He was 100% all in. And in this game, he takes two DTs and shuttle behind this. It's so weird, I can't believe. It's... Wow. 
Yeah, but of course I should have had uh, cannons in my main base. Of course, that was just the biggest mistake. I, I should have known this, but this game is so weird. I, I just forgot about it. What can I say? I just forgot it. That's how it is. In a normal game where there's a normal opening and the normal like three zealot into DT transition or something like that. I will always remember the cannon in the main base. Always. Trust me. I, I played many games of this and I always get the cannon in the main. But this game was just incredibly weird and also the games before that. So I didn't know what was going on. And he had such a big amount of units in the beginning. So it felt like he was maybe even proxy for gating or so. I have no idea. I, I, I couldn't... Um, I couldn't think about what he can have like is he all in does he have proxy gateways to kill me uh is he tacking behind is he expanding like i had no idea what was going on and i just uh i mean i defended the beginning what which was fine i was ahead but that I, I then just forgot the cannon in the main yeah that's it And yeah, the second robotics, the second robotics was uh, in case he targets my robotics, it was in my main, it was undefended. There were no cannons in my main. So if he, after my nexus, right clicked my robotics, he would have killed it before the observer spawns. That's why I started another robotics in my natural, just to be sure. But once I realized, okay, he's not targeting the robotics, I canceled the second robotics. But that was intentionally... Uh, in case he targets my robotics in my main. Yeah, I, I don't know. I still feel like if I... I mean, I've defended the beginning pretty easily. I just forgot the cannon. I think I was far ahead there. I had I had this game, in my opinion. Uh, I just didn't get the cannon in the main. I mean, my robotics was already building. I, I was going for observers. Um... Yeah, I just, I forgot two things, placing pylons at the edge of my base and uh, the cannon in my main. Yeah, that's it. Um, so. Yeah, I, I cannot spoiler any other results. And the 2-2 is getting played soon. I'm not part of the 2v2 this time. So that's it for today. That's all I have for you. Pretty much the three most weird games I've played in a while. And I just failed horribly. What can I say? Um, so I'm not going to spoil the results. Um, but I already mentioned yesterday or two days ago when I was streaming, uh, yesterday and two days ago, um, that even if we lose this clan war, there's a high chance that we still advance to the first division because BWCL will probably um, increase the number of teams per division from six to eight. And in that case, we would probably get, yeah, we will probably advance to first division anyway. So... I don't know if this clan war uh, matters or not in the end for the next season, but I failed horribly. Anyways, it doesn't. For me personally, for my own skill, the result of the clan war doesn't matter. It's just it just sucks that I played so bad against him because the games were just so weird. I don't know. Yeah, the, the the thing is here. This was the main problem that I didn't uh, that I had no idea what he was doing. Uh, I I should have scouted more with probes and so on. I I just should have scouted more. That's it. What's your DPI? Uh, I have no idea. You can uh, Google it yourself. I have the Razer Death Adder version two. Came out in the beginning of year two thousand twenty. And I am on the third DPI setting from the bottom. 
find out what the DPI is. I don't know. The, the thing is, you always want to have your Windows mouse speed on uh, uh, 6 out of 11. So there are 11 little boxes that you can uh, put the slider on. And you want to have it in the middle on 6 of 11. And then you want to adjust your DPI so that the mouse speed is fine. And yeah, that's what I did. So I, after setting the Windows setting to 6 out of 11, I then just see what the speed of the cursor on my screen is. And I don't need to know the DPI number for that. So. Yeah, so third setting from the bottom of the Razer Death Adder version 2, if you want to really know the DPI. Okay, and that's it for the day. So, yeah, I failed terribly, what can I say? Uh, season ends here. Um, the next STPL and the next BWCL will probably start again in two months or three months or so. Um, until then, you can always check out the Team Think Quick Twitch channel, where I'm casting every week, uh, Friday or Saturday. Uh, always changes, but I'm usually casting every week. And apart from that, I am streaming on Friday and Sunday. Uh, just normal ladder streams. So if you want to check it out in the future, I, I promise I play better games in my normal lettering, <laughs> trust me. Uh, yeah, it would be nice if you tune in. So thanks a lot for watching and good night, good evening, good morning, wherever you are. Bye bye.